Well, tonight, a nudge from us here at Local 5 to take control of your health. We know through the pandemic, a lot of people put off some of those important screenings. Mammograms were one of them. But an Ankeny woman is sharing her story in the hopes that if you needed a sign to get back on track, here it is. Young, healthy, no family history, breast cancer certainly wasn't on Carissa Meredith's radar in 2021. That changed after a routine mammogram in July. She was called back for a follow-up, and that's when they found cancer. Yeah, it's, it's scary because you think, my gosh, you know, I, breast cancer doesn't really run prevalently in our family, and I just didn't think it was something I needed to worry about. So when I heard that, I, it just, it kind of, you're grateful that you caught it early, but you're, you're scared, you're sad, you're upset, and, you know, I think it was just, you know, you, why, you know, why is this happening? And I, you think, now you look at um, just the statistics of one in eight women are diagnosed with breast cancer, so it, it's pretty common, and it's something that, you know, people need to be aware of and, and get those annual mammograms. Important because doctors know these screenings are the best way to catch cancer early, giving you a better chance at survival. But when the pandemic hit, we saw a drop in people going for those yearly exams. Even now, there are all kinds of reasons women may be putting off critical care. One of my biggest fears, and it's stupid, but I didn't want to get on the scale and see what I weighed at the doctors during the pandemic, and which is just silly. Uh, but it's one of those things you just put off and you think you can deal with it later and when things are back to normal. And maybe not quite back to normal yet, but Dr. Amy Hughes with John Stoddard Cancer Center at Unity Point says it seems like screenings are evening out. It's an encouraging sign. No, I, I think the important thing is just get the screening done and make sure that we're, you know, it's much easier to take care of things early on versus waiting until later. So I really encourage women go ahead and regardless of the pandemic concerns, get the screening done. And you may need to get it done earlier than you think. Dr. Hughes says there's confusion over when women should start mammograms. Some advocacy groups say age 45. She disagrees. So there is some confusion, I think, for the general public about, well, is it 40, is it 45? You know, I'm biased, obviously, in this field. I see too many young women. And so all of my colleagues and I would say we would recommend starting at 40 and moving forward annually. Other risk factors like family history may bump that age up. So it's important to talk to your doctor. And it's a good time to take a big picture look at your health overall. Carissa at age 43 says don't let youth fool you and certainly don't wait for life to be normal again. Had I not gone for a mammogram this year, it could be so much worse. And, you know, I, I think about that sometimes. I try not to think about it, but you think about it because it's just uh, it's just so scary how that those things can pop up and you really do need to just stay on that you know if if not for you for your you know for your sisters for your parents for your loved ones i mean just you know all the people who you love and care about you want you want to be good and healthy for them too investing in your health now could be a lifesaver when you least expect it Krista tells me she caught her cancer early at stage one, but it was the most aggressive type of cancer, so she will need four rounds of chemo, followed by radiation and hormone therapy, and we wish her the best of luck as she starts that journey. Now, Dr. Hughes says she urges everyone to do a few things besides getting screenings like mammograms, and that is start with cleaning up your diet. She recommends cutting down on processed foods and eating a more plant-based diet and then getting active. A few things that have likely also suffered during the pandemic.